Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download a portable version of Google Chrome. So, first of all, um, open your Google Chrome or any other browser that you use and then go to google.com. So now you have to click on the search box and write Google Chrome Portable. Now in here, you, you can see a lot of results, but the result that is from portableapps.com, you have to select that. So this is the one. Now in the website, you can read all these things, description, app notes and whatnot. But uh, to download the file, we have to click on here. And now we will get the set of files so that we can download google chrome portable and there you go there is the file that we had to download and it is already downloaded so it is here on downloads now i'm going to click on this and um it is just going to install so i'm going to choose english obviously and click ok then click next and yes i agree so you can actually change the destination folder which means uh where you want it to install so Yes, it's not installing per se, it's just extracting the files, just so you know. Um, so anyway, uh, let's just uh, click on install. So the main difference between portable and the set of files is you can actually uh, copy the portable to your pen drive, to another hard disk or SSD that you might have. And, you know, it's not really possible to do that to a normal version of Chrome. With Portable, you can actually take the files from here to there and you, it wouldn't really matter. It's really easy to do that and it's very convenient. So we are all, so we have already downloaded the file and now it's installing. Okay, so it has finished installing. And now I'm going to finish this. So there is a folder that was created from the installation and that is Google Chrome Portable. So we're going to click on this and we can see all the files. Now I'm going to click on Google Chrome Portable.exe. And now you can see uh, we have two instances of Chrome open. So this is the uh, one, this is the normal one, and this is the portable version. So that's how you can actually download portable version on Windows 10. So thank you everybody for watching this video. And if you think this video was helpful to you, uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video so that we can create more content. And I'll see you next time.